Hey everyone, it is Teacher Danielle, and today I am talking about Go Go Kids pools. Dun dun dun. So maybe you've gotten an email from Go Go Kid stating that you're in a pool, and you're like, "What?" And so you're here now because you're confused, or you follow me on Instagram and you saw that I got put in the red pool, and you want to know what happened. I'll talk about that later. I'm first going to explain what exactly the pools are and how they work and what it means for you as a go-go kid teacher. So essentially it's quality assurance feedback reviews that they're doing now and so they say to improve their overall class quality they sample classes regularly for review and then observations are conducted to real elements that could lead to negative experiences for their students or lead to negative parent feedback for teachers. And so classes are picked at random that they review, and so you don't know what classes they'll review, but usually if you have a negative feedback, then they'll review that class to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. There are three groups you can be put into, blue, yellow, and red. And blue is great, it means you're doing awesome. Yellow means you need some improvement, and red means you are not doing so hot. And so there are certain criteria. There are actually 24. I counted there are 24 criteria that they look at. And I'm going to go over that after this, so I'll cover all what those are. But first, so the blue pool means that you had no fails and less than five needs improvements on their criteria. That means you're doing awesome. Keep up the good work. The yellow pool means that you had no fails and five to seven needs improvements, and that leads to one credit score deduction. You don't lose any of your pay, but you're observed a little bit more regularly around every three weeks. And you, from there on your next eval, you're able to either move up to the blue pool, you could stay in the yellow, or you could move down to the red pool. The red pool is if you have one or more fails and or more than seven needs improvements, and that leads to a credit score deduction of minus two, and then you're observed weekly, um, they may request you to attend a workshop, and you'll lose pay for that class. On your next eval, you can either move up to the yellow pool, or if you stay in the red pool, you may be terminated. So I'm feeling a little nervous right now being in the red pool, but I'll go over that later. So let me pull up the 24 criteria that they have. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about these just because there are so many of them, but I'll give you the gist. So number one, start class on time. Either you started class on time or you were late for class by more than one minute. Class length, so always screenshot classes. I say no matter what, just screenshot when your class starts because um, they still don't have playback for teachers yet. Class length. The class either lasted 25 minutes or it did not. Or if there was an IT issue or um, the student was late, staying until the 25 minute, 28 minute mark. No leaving contacts. Pretty self-explanatory. Not giving out WhatsApp. You can't talk to the students outside of the Go Kid classroom. Inappropriate behavior. It just says inappropriate or not inappropriate. So don't be inappropriate. Enthusiasm. Being enthusiastic not being enthusiastic, attentiveness, um, not answering the student's questions um, or being very attentive and helping them solve the problems or answering their questions. Teaching an environment and position, so that means having good lighting, being centered in your screen and looking at the camera. Patience, no patience or positive and patient attitude. Um, reward system and giving rewards, so having a good reward system that's engaging or having no reward system, teaching props, having helpful teaching props or having no props, interaction that you prompt interaction with the student or you don't ha have a lot of effort in when prompting, th prompting them, TPR, obviously having hand gestures or not, pacing, trying to keep track of the class and keep it paced. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, if you have a student that's slower at things, that means just um, kind of like making sure that you are able to still pace things on time so you don't only go through like four slides. And then students practice and output. That means getting the student to speak a lot and getting them to talk back or repeat after you. Correction, either correcting them or not. Encouraging, using full sentences. Lesson extension. Uh, it says no extension or extend the lesson reasonably if the student's doing well. The mastery of content, which just means that it, you've prepared 
to teach and you know what the directions are for the slides and they're able to um, effectively complete those directions. Talking speed, speaking too fast like I am right now or speaking at the appropriate speed. Levels of words used is appropriate, so that's even like if you're using too difficult of language for the student, making sure that you're speaking to them and what their level is. Incidental language, giving instructions, which means providing clear instructions for the student, and, um, making sure they know what they're supposed to be doing. Class activities, it just says no class activity or more than class activities. So. If somebody knows what that means, that would be great if you could comment below because I'm not totally sure about class activities um, because, yeah, I'm not totally sure. Okay, meaning presentation, presented meaning by reading or, um, you know, so using certain things to make sure the student understands what content is being presented to them. So those are the 24 criteria, and if you want to know more about them, I can send you more information on it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then depending on if they deem whether you passed or needs improvement or fail, depends on what pool you get put into, and you can refer back to that graph that I put up that a teacher made that would be helpful for you to look over. Okay, so... Now to what we all want to know, why is Teacher Danielle in the red group? So my class that got reviewed was with one of my regular students, and I only got one needs improvement, which was that I needed to increase the number of class activities, which I'm a little confused about, but I will comment below when I find out what my increase of classroom activities is going to be. But I failed on teaching to 25 minutes. So with Google Kid, you can't exit the classroom until you hit the 25 minute mark. Um, but I had system IT issues in the beginning of that class. There have been some issues with Chrome and I screenshotted those even when I had the issues because I screenshot everything. But um, because I didn't extend the class to 28 minutes at the end, she got through the lessons pretty quick and I ended around 26 minutes. So because I didn't stay that extra two minutes, they failed me and they said that um, I, they told me, they even counted the minutes, I'm not sure how, but they said, we also noticed you finished class at 23.29, so I should have extended for another minute and 30 seconds, um, even though I was in the classroom for 26 minutes. So this is just a lesson to me, even though it's really frustrating in my mind, that just no matter what, if you have IT issues or um, if there's system IT issues like what I had or the student is late, just stay that 20 min 28 minutes. Don't forget to just stay that 28 minutes. It's important. And if that's the class they, that they review, then it can really come back to bite you. So I've been a little bit paranoid teaching the last couple of days after I've gotten this review just because I know they're going to review me again now in this coming week. And you don't know what class they're going to pick. Overall, I'm not worried because I'm a really strong teacher and I only had one needs improvement, but uh, as long as I stay good on the time, but it does just make you worry in case you have like a lighting issue or things like that. So I would just make sure to really screenshot everything. Something that I was confused about that I think is important for you to know is when does the credit score deduction occur if you are placed in the yellow pool or in the red pool? So I emailed Quality Assurance and they said they deduct points when they send the email to the teacher. You can read it here. It won't show up until about five days later because the system takes a while to update, which you know if you are a GoGo -Go Kid teacher, usually the payment tab and the credit score system are about five days behind. So for me, I can expect that my deduction will show up at August 12th at 11.55 p.m. So from that date and time, I can plan on how many classes I'm going to need to make up my credit score. The main concerns that GoGo Kid teachers have been having is if this happens at the end of the month, then they can't plan ahead enough if they get a review and they're docked either a point or two points. And so I'm starting to worry a little bit about the end of the month with GoGo -Go Kid, and I'm thinking it might be a wise idea for teachers who teach for both companies to maybe, you know, uh, for me, I like the GoGo -Go Kid curriculum and pay better, like I said, so maybe doing most of the month with GoGo -Go Kid, but near the end of the month and giving a lot more hours to VIP Kid. That could be a good option for people that are a bit turned off by um, these reviews and being worried. 
So now you know my red pool story and hopefully you understand the pool system a little bit better. I know that VIP Kid actually had some of these evaluations in place when they first started as well and they slowly backed away from it. So I'm a little hopeful, I have no clue, but I'm hopeful that GoGo Kid might become more lenient as time goes on because the pool system does stress me out a bit, but overall, I really still like working with GoGo Kid because the pay is great. I like their bonuses. I love my students. So I'm going to stick with it and I'm going to work on getting up to the yellow pool, hopefully, my next evaluation. So I'll keep you updated. We'll see. But yes, if you have any questions or you want to share your experience, either email me or leave them in the comment below. My email is itsteacherdanielle at gmail.com. All right, everybody, happy teaching. Bye bye.